Hello? I just shut off this light and I heard something. Winchester, Indiana says an abandoned mansion that is starting to capture the eyes of paranormal investigators. Indy and I decided to travel to this small town to see what exactly is going on inside. We met with two caretakers who are part of an organization that owns this location and are working to restore it to its former glory. They are about to discuss the history and show us where paranormal activity is said to happen. Okay, my name is Tim Murphy and what I do around here for save the old properties is I work on all the buildings and I take care of the grounds. So in other words, if you watch Rocky Horror Picture Show, I'm like Riff Raff. <laughs> My name is Melinda Gapen. I do research for STOP, uh, particularly on Stone Mansion or General Stone Mansion, which is where we are right now. And I want to tell you STOP stands for Save the Old Properties. That's our organization that we have. So we are in General Stone Mansion. General Stone was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1817. He was a general merchant during the Civil War. He did the logistics, so he never deployed, was never in combat. He was in charge of the supply chain management, and during that time he was also in charge of the Indiana State Bakery, which received rations from the government and then those rations were used to bake bread for the orphan's home, veteran's home, widow's home, hospitals, military prison, and other state institutions. During the four years that he did that, it profited $158,000, which was a significant amount of money at that time. And I think it would be safe to say some of those funds went into the building of this mansion. There's some question about how legitimate or dishonest of a businessman he might have been. And along with that comes rumors of there being some of those riches hidden in the walls. So you will see holes in the wall where people have tried to find said treasure. To the best of our knowledge, no said treasure has been found. Nope. And another common misperception is that there's tunnels and no we have tunnels. removed all the drywall. There's no tunnels. And in addition to that, we have since learned that at one time they did bring sound penetrating radar and explored the grounds and found no evidence that tunnels ever existed. He was married to Lydia Preston. Uh, she was also born in 1817. They did not have any children. Uh, construction started about 1868 finished in about uh, 1871. The paperwork says one. Sign says three. <laughs> Sometime between 1871 and 1873, depending on the source. <laughs> Can I tell them about the house? Yep. Originally, there was a house that sat on this grounds. The houses that you'll see on the, on the other side over here on Stone Street, were built first and these houses over here they all look alike and they were built for the workers and once those houses were built they commenced to take in the house that was originally here they lifted it up and they moved it one block over at the corner of, of main street and orange street and then they started building this after they put that house there so the plaque we got, she says 71, the plaque says 73. So there was a lot of building going on. So within that five years, there was a lot of stuff done around here. As we go through the house here, you'll see a lot of different things that are unique. Because especially back in 1868, when they start building this thing, the stuff that you will see in this house 
how did they make that stuff back then, but they did. Now, if you can zoom in on the doorknobs, if you see down here, they're all hummingbirds. Yeah, I can see them. All right. We are going to be going upstairs now. So we're going to go right up to the second floor. And so within that staircase that we just came up, I often feel like I'm usually the tail end of the group. And I usually feel like somebody is following behind me. I can hear the footsteps, I can feel them. Um, but when I look back, I'm no one's behind me. This is the room that I would argue is general, was General Stone's room. And the reason for that is because one, um, these are those catalog homes he had built for those who would be working on the mansion and building it. After the mansion was built, they were used for the servants to live in. So this would have been a really good vantage point for him to be able to keep an eye on his workers. The blue house right here, and the cream colored house right over there have told us that they have seen a figure walk through here back and forth with a candle and a not very tall guy. That's what they told me. Looks, looks male and not tall. Yes. Uh, so that, that to me implies that it might have been the general. I know that of the things I've seen, I have not seen the general because everything I've seen has been taller than the general would have been. Like what I said downstairs in the kitchen area where we first started, I've seen the, a guy walk through in a blue suit and out back I have seen two full body apparitions. One was a short dude and, and a female. That's all I've seen outside there. There's our beautiful stained glass window when the sun's shining through. It puts off uh, prisms, like right here. You can see the prisms on the wall right here. See the rainbow colors? So, you wanna tell them about my wall, Melinda? You will notice that there is a curvy <laughs> wall here, which would have been very unusual uh, for the late 1800s. He is obsessed with this wall, feels the need to touch it every time he walks by it. It just got to touch uh, it. But it's actually also where I saw my first visual uh, apparition here. Coming up the stairs we were at before, we were standing at the top of the stairs and I saw a shadow walk out of this other room that we're gonna be heading into and through this hallway. It wasn't a full bodied apparition, it was a shadow. Um, but I know it wasn't the general, even though it was a man. Looks like maybe wearing a top hat kind of uh, formal wear, but he was much too tall to have been the general. And I saw my third one right there where you're standing. It was a girl in a yellow dress, right there at the top of the stairs. And you said about 10 to 12 yep. years old? This uh, little girl, you know, so. I don't know, that's the number three, so. No, four. One, two, three, four. The fifth one's upstairs. But you can touch it if you want. <laughs> oh, it's got spider web. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. If the other room was the general's room, this would have probably been his wife Lydia's room. We were outside and a red local stopped by and told us that when she was a kid, she used to play with the kids that lived in the house. Um, there was a doctor at one time that lived here and it was his children. And she asked us if we've had any experiences in Wendy's room. And this would have been the room she was identifying. I have not yet found a Wendy in the history, uh, but we have heard reports that there was a wake for a young girl within this house. So perhaps the apparition Tim saw of a about 11 year old girl might have been named Wendy. But I saw her, I saw that apparition before that old lady came and stopped. See these windows, like they're, they're all over. General Stone was a stargazer. 
he loved looking at the stars. So as we go through each one of these rooms here, you'll see that the windows are positioned in different parts of the sky. Let's go in this other room. When the last person or thing or entity that I saw was right there. Is when I was in here, I looked right out there where the refrigerator is and I saw a figure. I didn't know what it was, but I saw a figure right there. Now, you're going to see some of the beauty that he put into this house. Wow. I knew you was going to say that. This was left here. You remember in Ghostbusters when Bill Murray came into Sigourney Weaver's apartment? He goes, they hate that. <laughs> so I was at the piano and we had a, basically a spirit box going. We thought we heard footsteps. And so turned down the, the volume and he thought they were coming from the kitchen area, the first room where we were at was the original kitchen. I thought they were coming from upstairs. No noise. Turned the volume back up, heard it again. Turn the volume down. Again, we were trying to guess where they were at. I ran out there. Yep. <laughs> I ran back into there. And then the third time we turned it down, he was leaning up against that wall. I was still sitting at the piano and you could literally hear. In here. Wow. Right here. there, very loud. Um, somebody said, well, you know, it wasn't the general because he was such a small man. Um, but you know, it might have been the general uh, trying to make himself seem, sound bigger than he really was. Uh, so sometimes it feels like this place is very quiet and then other times it feels like it is very active. When we first acquired the property, I was the first one to come in with Tim and do any type of like paranormal investigating. And I walked in and um, another, another team member of STOP had, been, had said, I don't see anything in the history that would tell me that it was haunted. I walked in, it felt like an energy bomb. It, I got met with like a brick wall of energy and it was very aggressive. Um, in fact, I got attacked or I should say tried to attack me. Um, I kind of laughed it off. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that that was the general. And then a couple weeks later, we were back doing it again and the energy was much calmer. We were still getting responses, but it wasn't quite as aggressive. And I think that's because with all the money, the time, the energy he would have put into this place, I think he was very displeased with its current state. And I think once he realized that STOP is trying to actually restore it, I think that helped mellow his aggressiveness out. He seems to be pretty quiet. I think he kind of has the other spirits under his thumb. But then there's other nights where you're getting, you're getting activity and you're seeing apparitions. And I saw one out by the parking lot area um, in kind of a gray suit. I would keep my eyes open on the kind of the exterior because we do seem to see them either inside from the outside or on the outside from the inside, so. All I know is when we got in here, I, I felt like this, this negative, just negative stuff. And when I'm in here, I used to get like a, like, like someone felt like someone's pushing on me. Now I don't, I don't feel that at all. So I'm thinking that they, like Melinda said, they know that we're here to fix this place up. We're here to help. We're not here to destroy it. So any more? Got any questions? India? I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready to go. What about you, boss? I'm good. All right. So hopefully you guys will get activity tonight. All right, India. So we have arrived here, the stone mansion. We just got done interviewing Melinda and Tim and they were telling us some of the experiences that people were having here. They were even saying they were seeing apparitions roam inside the mansion as well as, well as on the property here. 
and uh, having EMF spikes on other K2 meters and all kinds of stuff. I'm really excited about doing an investigation here. It's absolutely creepy. It reminds you of one of those TV show styles, American Horror Story. It kind of reminds you of that kind of style of a home. And uh, just walking through it, it's really creepy. Uh, are you excited for tonight's investigation? Yeah, I mean, this is your classic haunted house. Like, if you pictured a haunted house, it would be this. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm excited to see what's in there. So what we're gonna do, we haven't done this before. We're gonna actually split up, you and I. You're gonna go in the house by yourself and try to capture any paranormal um, evidence. And I'm gonna go in the house alone too and see if I can capture any paranormal evidence. Then we're gonna go in there together and we're gonna see if we have comparable evidence or any experiences in similar rooms. And we're gonna go together at that point and do our paranormal investigation. So are, are you nervous to do something like that? Um. I don't really feel nervous in this house. I think if we were kind of in an asylum or something, I would be, but this house, honestly, this is my dream house, so it kind of feels homely to me. Yeah. It doesn't feel scary. Yeah. So we'll see though, we'll see what happens. All right, are you ready to, to start our paranormal investigation here at the Stone Mansion? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, India. You're gonna go in the house by yourself first. And while you're inside the house, I'm gonna go sit in our car. And whenever you're done, just let me know, okay? Cause once that door shuts, it locks the whole building. You're gonna be the only person inside of this mansion, okay? So, good luck. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We'll see if I make it out alive. Let's go ghost hunting, guys. Toodaloo. Well, India is going on inside the mansion by herself. We are gonna stay in the nice air conditioning in my car. So this is very, very exciting. I've never had a whole haunted house to myself. So I am so, so excited. Let's hope we get some good stuff happening. All right, it's just me inside of my car. India is inside the stone mansion right now by herself. So she, I know that she brought the REM pod inside and the portal. I know she has one of the cameras facing towards the piano, which the REM pod is on. And in the other room, she has the portal set up. So hopefully while she's in there, she captures some good evidence before we go inside. I just want to say hello and introduce myself. My name is India and I have come a long way to see you. And I'm very, very excited to be here tonight and try to talk to you if you are here. I'm gonna set up some things that will help us be able to have a conversation. So if there is anyone here, whether it's General Stone or Lydia or Wendy, I'm very interested to talk to you and I would love to be able to just have a conversation. I hope that I'm welcome in your house. I'm trying not to intrude. I know that a lot of people probably come through here. That little red light that's sitting on the piano bench, if you touch that, it will light up and make a noise and it will just let me know that you're there. So it's nothing that's gonna hurt you at all. So could you touch that? Or if at any point you want to, feel free to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the portal. All right. All right, so I just got the idea that while India is inside looking for paranormal evidence inside the mansion, I'm actually gonna walk the property 
and see if we're able to capture any apparitions that Melinda and Tim were talking about. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna set up this little box right here. If you talk through it, you'll be able to hear your own voice and I'll be able to hear it too. She said that they saw an apparition back that way near the trailer. So there's the stone mansion. Wonder if there's anybody out here. That is just an annoying car. Somebody's doing something right over there. Right over there. Oh. Hello? Hi. I heard that. Hello, what's your name? General Stone, are you here? Lydia, are you here? Clearly said, that's very funny. Can you hear my voice? That sounded to me like it said, the f of you are here at the stone mansion can you give me a number I just heard seven. Are any of you in this room right now? India is still doing that. I'm just going to stay in this car. I just heard a piano. Are you playing the piano? The piano is right there in the room right, ne right next to me. That was definitely a piano. That was really cool. Can you play me a song? Did 
Did somebody named Wendy live here? I heard at one point. That was a woman, she said at one point. Did she die here? Looks like India is coming out right now from being inside the house. Looks like it's my turn. Yeah, it's my turn to go inside the house. Here we go, inside the stone mansion. It's your turn now. All right, so how was it? It was interesting, but I'm not gonna tell you what happened until you come out and then we can compare, so. All right, let's get to this. I'm gonna start on the second floor and work my way down. All right, well, so. have fun. Okay, inside the stone mansion what they believe is Wendy's room. I got a voice recorder over there still running and I'm going to simply ask questions. All right. I'm not moving, I'm standing still. Is Mr. or Mrs. Stone still in this building? Can you come say hi? That was me on the floor. Put this camera down on the floor. All right. All right, I hear that this is Wendy's room. The neighbors said that they used to, someone used to play in this room with other people. And they referred to this room as Wendy's room. Is there a Wendy that stayed in this room or anywhere in this house? Do you like it that they're trying to fix up this place? Bring it back to what it used to be like? Do you like it that people come in here and try to communicate with you? My name is Connor. How many spirits are in this house, this mansion? I mean, this is a beautiful home. 
A lot of work went into this place. All right, I'm gonna stop the recorder. Let's see. Just gonna move this. Probably over to this window right here. I'm gonna leave this camera rolling. I'm gonna move the static cam to a different room. All right. Murray said that he's seen an apparition of a girl walk up that stairway. I'm gonna go into this room over here. All this camera is rolling on the stairs. So Mr. Murray said he's seen an apparition of a girl come up the stairway over here and behind this camera where this curvy wall is. So I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna make our way down the stairs. Hello? I just shut up this light and I heard something. Whew, I got chills. I got chills right now. Oh. Hello? Oh my God, I just heard a noise come from that way. Is somebody in this house? That was so weird. I literally was turning off this light to go get the spirit box to bring in here to do a portal session. And I just heard a bang come from upstairs, which I just came from downstairs, which I have a camera upstairs rolling. Who built this house? Is there anyone upstairs? What'd you say? General Stone, are you in this mansion still? Who did Tim see upstairs on the second floor? Do you like Tim Murray? After experiencing no further activity, I decided to call India back into the mansion so that we could discuss our findings. Here comes India right now. And continue the investigation together. We had no idea that we were about to hear one of the best portal sessions we have ever done. It said hi. It did that last time. It, that was really quiet though. Last time I turned it on, it said hi. It, turned, it said hi as soon as you turned it on? Yeah. Just did it again, but it, it wasn't loud enough. So 
anybody here? This camera's dying. It's dying? There's a charged battery on in the, in the kitchen. That was a little girl. That was. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. That was a little girl. That was. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. It sounded like it said, where are you? I did hear that. Oh my god. Where are you? That was, that was a little girl. That what? That's why I turned around. Wendy, are you in here? Hi. Hi. Hello. Who are you? This SD card's about to die too. Huh? SD card's full. Hi, it just said hi, Connor. Did it really? Yeah. It said hi Connor? It either said bye Connor or hi Connor. If you said bye, I'm coming right back. I'm just getting something real quick. If you said hi, hello. I'm back. Oh. What? Whoa. What? I think what? the flashlight's dead. Flashlight's dead? I think so. That was a woman. Would you like Connor to play the piano? You want me to play the piano? There's a red light over here, right in front of me. If you walk near it, go near it with your hand, it'll light up so I can visually see you, not just hear your voice. This camera's dying, baby. Huh? This cam's dying now. Everything is dying. I'll be right back again. I'm sorry. All right, I'm back in the room. It said afternoon. Afternoon. It like, likes talking to you. What time is it? Am I talking to General Stone? Wendy? <coughs> did you hear that? What did it say? Wendy. Oh God, I got goosebumps. It went Wendy. Oh. This, this is the most accurate responses that I've ever heard on the portal, ever. Yeah, yeah. Can you come in this room and join us? Let's have a conversation and talk. Can we know your story? My name is Connor, and this is India. Bye. 
How are you? Are you okay? That was weird. This is a beautiful home. Is Tim and Melinda the ones that are seeing you guys? Are you walking around on the property? Walking around in here? Making sure this place is still good? That, that voice has come through several times. I was I, just gonna say that. That's, I, think that's, I think that's General Stone. quiet now it is it's quiet all right this is your this is your last chance to talk and we're gonna turn this machine off so if there's anything you want to say say it now All right, I'm turning it off. Those portal responses were amazing. Yeah, those were really- Like that little girl. That, I have never heard a little girl like that come through. Not even that, St. Albans. No, she said, where are you? That was so weird. Like she's like, like it, she sounds like, where are you? Like, and it, and like she's like playing or something. Like she's playing hide and seek or something in this place. Or she, or she can hear us and she can't see us. Yeah. But it's weird because uh, people are talking about he saw a little girl in here. True. Yeah. With the night drawing to a close, we made our way upstairs to the attic in a final attempt to make contact with the talkative spirits of the stone mansion. All right. Fucking give me a heart attack. Yeah. Haunted vacuum. <laughs> okay. So we're in the attic. We're just gonna see if we can get any EVPs just to finish off. So if there is anybody in this house, this is your last chance to say what you want to say, to make yourself known, to make a noise, to show yourself. This is the last chance. I'm gonna hit record. All right, we'll put it up here on the shelf. Okay, so if you speak into that orange light, we'll be able to hear what you have to say. General Stone, we heard that you like to stargaze and how these windows are positioned up here. You could see all the stars. Was that true? We're about to leave. Can you say goodbye to us? We really appreciate everything that you have done tonight with talking to us. Thank you. Yeah, you did really, really well. Thank you for allowing us to have a conversation with you tonight, all of you. Do you have any last words you want to say to us before we go? Grabbing the recorder. Stopping the recorder. All right. Well, India, what do you think? What do you think about our night here at the Stone Mansion in Winchester, Indiana? Well, I think as far as kind of um, sounds and visual things, for me, it was quite quiet. But the portal responses were amazing. Like, I've never heard so many clear, 
accurate responses ever. So it'll be really interesting to listen to those back. What did you think? I think it was um, a very cool haunting here. I like the portal sessions a lot. I think I've heard a few noises when I was in here by myself. Um, a, a banging noise. I'm not even sure right now if that was even captured at all. But I, I felt like not threatened in this place actually from some places that we've gone to i just feel uncomfortable this one walking throughout this place i felt like i was being watched but watched as in like hey you're in my house well this guys has been one heck of a day heck of an investigation and we are now signing off of our investigation here at the Stone Mansion in Winchester, Indiana. See you next time. There is a house in Indiana where the previous occupants still want their voices to be heard. Once a place of beauty and grandeur, this empty mansion now stands as a ghost of what once was, waiting patiently to be restored to its former glory. They are talking, and it's our job to listen. If you should ever find yourself in Winchester, the spirits will be here to welcome you to their home.